Alexi and Art Bar Cafe in East Hampton. Yeah. North, North Hampton's little brother, hipster brother, <laughs> cultural center. I love hipsters. If this building could ride a bicycle, it would be one speed. It would wear a, a pork pie hat. Pork pie hat. So I was having sex the other night with my wife. Wife. She's back there. She's having sex with that lady. That's what you needed to see in your head. And it was her turn to pick the porn. The iPad porn. You guys have been there, right? <laughs> yeah, I know you have the iPad porn. So she put it on, and we started um, having sex, and we were watching the video, and it was a pretty standard um, threesome. A male, male, female threesome. Now, it's so one guy, he's in the back, he's having sex with the lady. Porn guy one, then porn guy two comes around the back. There too. And I don't know what's going to happen next. I can only imagine. But he just kind of very quickly leans over and starts sucking porn guy one's cock. <laughs> now, I'll admit, I was a little taken aback. <laughs> I paused. I paused a little bit biologically. But then I said, okay, this is a decision point for me. I can get on the, I can ride this horse through the end, or I can, I can be an asshole and be like, no, I don't like this. Some guys would have been like, I'm not gonna watch a porn with two guys having sex with a woman and having sex with each other. Testosterone. That's not what I did. I went forward. I just gotta you know, let myself relax and enjoy it. I kept going. The way I figure it, I'm 40, I'm going to be 40. I've been married 12 years, with the same woman for 16. I'm lucky to be having sex <laughs> at all. <laughs> Never mind watching porn on an iPad, right? That's pretty cool. Tip. It's modern sex. iPad and sex. I like it. <laughs> so, I went ahead. The reality is, the way I figure it, and the way I figure things is reality. <laughs> Sexuality is on a sliding scale, right? You have people who prefer the other sex, so the man who prefers the woman, or the woman who prefers the man. And then you have people who prefer the same sex. A man would prefer to have sex with a man, a woman would prefer to have sex with a woman. And then there's a whole range in between there. And I think like 90% of people fall somewhere in between. I don't know where. It could vary with any given person, but that's what I think is reality. And I identify and I identify as a straight man, right? But there's a but. For example, this summer, did anybody see that Superman movie, Man of Steel? Did you see it? No. It was great. <laughs> Man of Steel. Henry Cavill? No? Am I the only one? <laughs> Raise your hand if you saw Man of Steel. <laughs> oh, fuck, it was my wife. All right. Well, Henry Cavill is a handsome, handsome man. Superman. I developed a man crush. Henry Cavill this summer. I watched the trailer for Superman over and over again, probably like 20 times. 
You know, and he rips off his shirt, and he's saving people, and his chest hair is on fire. <laughs> I don't know what it was. But I watched that, I watched that trailer like 20 times. Legends of the Fall, Brad Pitt. Woo! Yeah. His beard. Very comforting. <laughs> Snuggle worthy. Yes. Yes. And Denzel Washington. Yeah, Denzel. I don't even need to try to make a joke about that. Right? So, yeah. And because I believe that sexuality is on a sliding scale, that's why I hate these angry homophobic assholes who are running around in the world and spreading hatred and People are scared of their own feelings, you know. Like, why did I get an erection when Superman flew for the first time? <laughs> why? I'm going to go beat up somebody who I don't like because I'm scared that I got a Superman boner. <laughs> right? We hate those people. Go back into your holes. Calm down. Henry Cavill is hot. <laughs> yeah. Calm the fuck down. Bonobos. Does anybody know about bonobos? Bonobo? Yeah, not the pants, you hipster douches. You East Hampton hipster douches. The apes. You know about these apes, the bonobos? Yeah. They're our closest biological cousins. Right? Closer than chimpanzees. The chimpanzees are assholes. They solve every problem by fighting. The bonobos solve problems by fucking. <laughs> bonobos will fuck each other to solve any problem. Yeah, you've got food I want? Let me fuck you for it. Here you go, here's the food. That's what they do. We should be more like the bonobos. Yeah, clap, come on, clap. I'm driving down Route 9 and somebody cuts me off. Let's pull over and give each other blowjobs. <laughs> we all walk away from that situation happy. No road rage. How about instead of mass killings, the angry loner goes into a movie theater and just fucks everyone? <laughs> mass fucking. That's what this world needs. Mass fucking, and we should be more like the bone of those. That's what we need. Mean. So, Northampton is next door, right? Northampton is right next door. I need to look at my notes to make sure about that. <laughs> yeah, it is. And um, I saw online, I saw online that they were, they were issuing. Um, Medical marijuana cards now, over there. And I'm all for medical marijuana, folks. I know you think I might not be, right? Right. No. No, but I'm all for it. <laughs> it's powerful stuff. It has the potential to transform people, not just relieve pain. That's a potential to transform lives. An example that comes to mind for me, you guys know this rapper, Snoop Dogg? You heard of him? Woo. Yeah, did you know that he's now, he's now called Snoop Lion? Yeah. Yeah, he's now a, re he's now a, a peace-loving reggae artist named Snoop Lion. And I think this is because he smokes so much pot he went from being a gangster rapper, a killer, to a reggae artist, a cold stone chiller, right? <laughs> now don't take my word for it. I, I have evidence for you here. I'm going to read some lyrics for you, some Snoop Dogg lyrics, and then I'm going to contrast them with some Snoop Lion lyrics. Hold on. 
This is Snoop Dogg singing rat, tat, tat. I think that refers to shooting people. The sound that gun makes. Rat, tat, 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 tat. Okay. On the streets of LA, wondering where the pussy at. Straight playa looking for a hoe. Hanging out, rolling in my 60 bow. That's a car, a 60 bow. He wasn't riding in a number. Riding in a car. Here's Snoop Lion, 20 years later, in a song called Fruit Juice. It's not gin and juice, no. Snoop Dogg did a song called Gin and Juice. This is Snoop Lion singing Fruit Juice. Fruit juice in my glass, you know you can't lose. Take away my worry, my stress, and my blues. Natural berries are so very good for the system. <laughs> some tart, some sweet, you just can't resist them. Yeah. Fucking marijuana did that. Right? Awesome. A lot of people don't know this. Same thing happened for Bob Marley. You know the reggae star? The Jamaican reggae star? He used to be called Lil Marley. It's a gangbanger, like Lil Wayne. Or Lil Scrappy. You know Lil Scrappy? He's a rapper. A gangster rapper. I think if these guys just smoke enough weed, they'll get set straight. Be like Snoop Lion. That's what we want. Bob Marley's song, Three Little Birds. Their first version of that was called Three Little Hoes, in case you didn't know that. Now, one cool thing about medical marijuana that has awesome names. It's not just like, you don't just go in and ask for the pot. I don't want, you know, you don't walk into the clinic and say, can I please go some pie? You've got to ask for this stuff by its <laughs> name. It's got really interesting creative names. I'm going to give you some of those names now. Alaskan Thunderfuck. Yeah, I want some of that. I've never been thunderfucked. I'm not going to say I want to be thunderfucked. And my wife is sitting right over there. I can't say that. Maybe someday. Superman. She'll figure out how to thunderfuck. <laughs> and I'll get thunderfucked. Well, I don't know. Green Crack? That's another name. Green Crack? I think maybe because pot's green. It's really strong, like crack. You figure it out, I don't know. Blockhead? Cheese? You smoke some cheese with me, man? Fruity Pebbles, yeah, that one's understandable, right? And if you smoke a bowl of that, get some Fruity Pebbles, get some of that. Well, I prefer Count Chocula. That's my favorite of the monster cereals. Count Chocula. <laughs> Frank and Mary. That's good, Frank and Mary. Does anyone remember Yummy Mummy? Are you old enough? <laughs> yeah. That was in the early 80s. They discontinued it, apparently. People don't like fruity monster cereals. Or mixed fruit monster cereals. It was a mixed fruit thing. No. <laughs> okay. Finally, um, the last name. This one is my favorite. Every name I've seen is Cat Piss. <laughs> yes! Cat Piss. Let's go score some Cat Piss and get fucked up. You'll leave our knee pain. <laughs> yeah, because remember, it's medical marijuana. <laughs> All right, folks, listen. You got some other great comedians in here, I think, who want to get the mic. Maybe I'll come back up. Let's take a break.